Welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test and I'm recording this for marking and clerical purposes. The time right now is 14 o'clock and we are currently conducting this exam in Kolkata. This is candidate number 95712384 and this is examiner number 92135. The speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each. To begin, may I see your identification? Yes, of course. Uh, here is my passport that I use to register. Please uh, take a look at my card. What is your full name? Uh, my surname is Mantel and my given name is Jalil. Please call me Jalil. Okay, Jalil. For part one, I will ask you some questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Where do you live? I live in West Bengal here in India in a three-bedroom house in the suburbs of Calcutta. I've lived here all my life. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Uh, I have an older brother. His name is Kumar. He's a great guy, very hardworking. Uh, currently, he's working uh, on his master's degree in engineering. Let's talk about work and play. How often do you work? I work quite a bit these days because um, I have a full-time job as a sales assistant at a local souvenir shop and I work from Monday to Friday from 9 in the morning until 6 p.m. How much time do you have to play? Unfortunately, I don't get enough time to uh, play these days. As I had mentioned before, I'm busy with my work and study. Uh, two days ago, I met one of my friends and we went for a movie. Do you like your work? Honestly, sometimes because my job is a sales assistant and it's actually not my dream job. My dream is to become a fashion designer, but about my current job, I actually uh, get to meet a lot of friendly people and uh, my colleagues are also great. And I like my boss too, he's very kind. What are your favorite games to play? I'm really into this board game with my friends called Cranium. It's actually a thinking game, which is exciting and fun. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get enough time to play it these days. If you could change one aspect of your job, what would it be? Uh, honestly, it would simply be my job, because as I said earlier, this is not my dream job. I plan to go abroad and to study in a university in London, because I aspire to become a famous fashion designer. Have you ever played a game outside of your country? If yes, where and when? Yes, I have. I've traveled outside my country to Bangladesh uh, for vacation and I've played uh, water sports and games in the beach, like beach volleyball. I think last time I recall was uh, the summer before the pandemic in June of 2018. In part one, for the introduction, as well as the general questions, Jaleel very cleverly uses numbers so that her information is easy to understand for the examiner. This strategy is called quantification, meaning explaining qualitative ideas with quantitative numbers. Like when she explains that she lives in Kolkata in a three-bedroom detached house. This gives us a clear sense of the size of the house that she lives in. Also, when asked about work and play, how often does she work? She uses natural English by saying that she works quite a bit. But how much is that really? For the listener, that's not yet clear because it's just qualitative. So she continues to explain that she works Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. These numbers and days of the week clearly quantify what Jaleel means when she says, I work quite a bit. Use this strategy in all parts of your speaking to improve your band score. Make sure to practice. Now, part two. That is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. For this part, I will show you some questions. Please do not touch the paper. 
In this one minute, you can take notes. You have some note paper there, and you have your pencil, and then you will have one to two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Please do not touch the paper. There we go.、Um, talk about an idea to make more money. Your one-minute preparation time begins now. We can score your IELTS speaking section part two for free. Simply send us an MP3 recording to this email address, and we will send you back a band score estimate. This will help you know where you stand and what you need to do to improve. If you like to practice speaking, make sure to click. On the speaking interview practice yellow button in your My Student account at aehelp.com. Now let's continue with the interview and lesson. Jalil, your one-minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. I've been thinking of a great idea recently, which is very lucrative in the long run, and that is to make online fashion competitions through social media like YouTube and Instagram. Basically, my idea is to bring together fashion designers on a YouTube channel, and the designers that、uh, get most likes win prizes. Ultimately, with the growing popularity of my channel and、uh, some of the designers, big brand names、uh, like Gucci or Calvin Klein can contribute some sponsorship deals. Also, I can sell the merchandise of. Uh, the fashion designers that participating in my、uh, project. I think in order to make my idea real, I need to come up with a clever name for my YouTube channel, as well as I need to convince some ambitious designers. I think about this idea just because I think that there are a lot of fashion designers out there who have trouble getting recognized, and this could be a great way for them. To gain some exposure, and also the viewers can get the excitement from the competition. I think once I'm in my fashion school in London, there will be more opportunities for me to do much of this, just because there will be a lot of likely-minded people there.、Uh, when this project start making money,、uh, I will invest this into my career and make more、uh, designer projects. Your time is up. I will stop you there, and now I will take back the questions. Jaleel's part two cue card response is also a band nine, but what does that actually mean? What does it really take to be an expert user of the English language when giving a one to two minute mini presentation? Well. First of all, she answers all the questions on the card clearly. Most importantly, she chooses a good answer to talk about her business idea about fashion using social media. This is clearly an original idea, and she does a wonderful job of explaining it. When picking your idea for part two, it's really important that you think of at least two to three possible choices. Oftentimes, the first idea isn't the best choice. The one that you finally settle on to talk about for part two should be easy to discuss. There should be lots of content, and it should be original. Talking about social media and fashion was just that for Jaleel. Now she also kept in mind that when discussing an idea, a person must explain where the idea came from, what is required for this idea, what are the expected outcomes for the idea, and potentially how can this idea be improved.
When thinking about these points, as well as the questions on the cue card, you can easily talk for one to two minutes without repetition and with lots of detail, just like Jaleel. Let's talk about her strategies for band nine in part three. Uh, please put the note paper to the side, turn it over with the uh, pencil, yes, thank you. And uh, now we will continue with part three. Uh, for this part, I will ask you a question related to your response and some questions on this topic. Have you taken any steps so far to start this project? Uh, yes, I have. I've been brainstorming ideas for uh, names and uh, for designs and layout for the uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. Let's talk about making money. Why do many people invest a lot of effort to make more and more money? I think that people nowadays are more materialistic and they desire to make a lot of money so that they can buy luxury items like big house or a fancy car or maybe a lot of clothes. Honestly, uh, I wouldn't mind myself having uh, these things. Is this always good? I think it is for most of the part because they can they can have uh, more money and they can lead a luxurious life and it is actually depends on the way people think. How have money-making opportunities changed from one generation before? That's a tricky question. I think uh, during my parents' uh, time, people used to invest more in land and uh, businesses. But nowadays, people are more into uh, investing in new investment types like uh, cryptocurrencies and making money online. What new opportunities may be available in the future to make more money? I suppose there will be people who are really interested to invest and control resources like fresh water or air because uh, the human population is increasing and the resources are decreasing. Some people feel that it is important to save as much money as possible. Is this a good idea? I think saving money is a good idea because it helps people to lead a successful life but in order to make the economy flowing uh, money needs to be spent so I think it's better if someone tries to spend enough money as well as save enough money let's talk about financial freedom what does it mean to have financial freedom having financial freedom means a person uh, doesn't have to worry about making money for sustenance needs like food, shelter, or clothing. And they don't have to work every day in order to meet these needs. And they can have enough money to last them a lifetime. What are ways that people achieve financial freedom? I think there are so many ways in order to achieve uh, financial freedom like they can have a successful business just like the idea that i've mentioned before starting the online fashion competition or just simply being lucky or winning a lot of money if a person has reached financial freedom what is a good way to invest their time afterwards i hope that one day i'll be in a position to really have to concern myself about that but jokes aside I personally think that people need to invest their money once, like their time once they are no longer concerned about anything financially. They can actually do something like philanthropy, helping people and nature. Uh, also, maybe starting a charity to empower people to lead a healthy life. That is the end of part three. That concludes the speaking section of the exam. You will see your mark online in about two days and you will have your certificate in 10 days in the mail. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a good one. For part three, Jaleel is an expert user because she answers all of the questions, giving explanations and often including examples to make clear what she is explaining. Her examples link the information
by reflecting back on some of her part two cue card response about fashion and business as a good source of making money. She uses a broad range of vocabulary like consumerism and she is able to bring about logical answers for her explanations. When you watch this video again, pay attention to how Jaleel uses common modern day concepts that are well known around the world to explain herself, such as saying that in the past, investments into property and the stock market were popular. However, these days, people tend to invest in cryptocurrencies and online businesses. Make sure to use your worldly knowledge, especially in part three. Don't overthink it. Think simple. Simple is not easy, but you can do it with practice. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. For more video lessons like this one, original practice exams, a fully interactive course, an app for your phone, visit and join our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here. And click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos, practice exams, and a fully interactive course.